Hey everyone, Ronnie Rabini here. Welcome to another video. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use a prism to make a video transition in After Effects. All right, first of all, you're gonna to wanna to film your first scene. And just before the scene ends, you're gonna to wanna to take your prism and swipe it over the lens. Next, you're gonna to wanna to film the next scene that you wanna transition into. But this time, you're gonna to wanna to swipe the prism over your lens before you start the scene. Now, keep in mind that you'll wanna maintain the same speed and the same angle as the last scene. You'll also wanna make sure that you're moving in the same direction or else the effect won't work. Once you're happy with the footage, Take your clips into After Effects where we're gonna piece it all together. So first of all, you wanna start by creating a new composition as I've done already. Next, you wanna drop in your clips onto the After Effects timeline as I've done right here. So once you have the two clips on the timeline, you're gonna to wanna to overlap the two areas where you swiped the prism. So you wanna make sure you line up the swipes from the first clip and the second clip. One thing you can do to make it a little easier is you can bring down the opacity of the top clip. Just so you can see it better. And it looks like we're pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact because if you're using a really fast lens, the prism will be blurred anyways. So you don't have to line it up exactly, but you'll want it pretty close. So once you have your shots lined up, you wanna find the middle of the prism, which is right here. And then we're gonna take the pen tool and make a mask. like so. Remember to bring your opacity back up to 100%. So the next thing you want to do is to add a feather to the mask. I use about 300 pixels and it just blends it just enough. So next we want to animate the mask so it goes with the swipe. So we'll go to the beginning of the swipe right about here. We'll take the mask and move it to the beginning. Now you're gonna have to want to adjust the mask. As you can see it, you're kind of seeing the other scene here. Just grab the corners and make it bigger. Now you want to add a keyframe right there and then go to the end of the swipe which is about there and move your mask like so you sh it should light up for the most part and you could just check to make sure That looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. So once you're happy with the way it looks, just render it out. And after that, you're done. It takes a little bit of time, but the results will be worth it. And there you go. That's how you use a prism to make a video transition. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Always remember to create and appreciate. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.